everybody, it's David. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I have for you today another New Editions video. Uh, I've got some movies to share with you as well as some albums that I've received in the last month or so. We'll start off with the movies that I've picked up. And uh, first off we have the Urban Legends box set. From 88 Films. Came with the uh, three movies in the trilogy and it included um, a poster as well as uh, some like, postcards of different characters from the film series and a nice booklet so urban legends I also received uh, in the mail this box set of they live from studio canal And this one also includes a uh, poster, a booklet, as well as uh, some pictures of different scenes from the movie. Uh, these next two are movies that uh, Rick at Us Only sold me through his uh, Sabroxa website. Uh, first one we have is Children of the Corn. This is the Arrow release. And the three disc limited edition Maniac featuring the 4K uh, restoration. Right. Next up, we have Invasion of the Body Snatchers with Donald Sutherland and Jeff Goldblum. Uh, we have Eden Lake. Uh, this is a Region B movie, so I can't play it on my 4K player, but my old Blu-ray player does allow me to play uh, Region B content, so if I do <laughs> want to watch this, I will have to go through the trouble of hooking up the old Blu-ray player and uh, watching this, so kind of a hassle. Next up, we have Brightburn in 4K. Looks great in 4K. We have the 4K release of Clockwork Orange from Stanley Kubrick, with Malcolm McDowell. I did not own this in any other format prior to this, so happy to have that in my collection. Next up is a personal favorite of mine from the early 90s, Cape Fear. Just a, I just thought that Robert De Niro did an awesome job portraying Max Cady. Uh, then you have Juliette Lewis as the young Danielle. And of course you have Jessica Lange as well as Nick Nolte. Uh, there's even some cameos from original cast members of the original Cape Fear. Uh, you have Gregory Peck and um, oh, who was the other guy? Robert Mitchum, the original Max Cady. And we have Exorcist 3. I am expecting in the mail soon um, Exorcist the Beginning. Uh, that one gets a lot of flack. Uh, it's not a bad movie. Uh, I went back and watched it for the first time in a long time and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I haven't gone back to watch Dominion yet, so I may give that one a shot, even though they were had the same lead actor. Uh, apparently they're really different stories, so looking forward to checking out Dominion and possibly adding that to my collection as well. And then the last one that I picked up uh, is one that came out this past Tuesday. Uh, it's the American Psycho Steelbook. It's cool because if you push it up. Looks like he's peeling his face off. And in the back you've got the American flag kind of in the blood splatters on the axe. And on the inside you've got the two discs and the Patrick Bateman business card. And if anyone is interested, 
here is the digital code. If you want to pause it, go to this website. First come, first serve. So that will do it for the movies. Uh, I've got several albums that I've received in the last month that I'd like to share as well. And we'll kick things off with uh, Darkman, starring, uh, uh, when you know it, I'm going blank, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> and this is music by Danny Elfman. Still sealed. Also still sealed. Got Jacob's Ladder. Starring Tim Robbins. And the music for this one was done by Maurice Jar. It's on sale on Waxworks and website, so I picked it up. Uh, next is one that I'll, I don't think I've shown. Uh, this is the original soundtrack to Candyman. Featuring music by uh, Philip Glass. And I think this came on just black wax. Yeah, this came on black. There's the side B label. I had pre-ordered the new Candyman score, uh, but I ultimately went back and just canceled it. I uh, haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, I may wait and get that one later. Uh, here's one that I received about a month ago. I uh, just kind of got lost in <laughs> some of the other albums that I've picked up. Uh, this is the soundtrack to the first two Scream movies. Featuring music, uh, I think it's Marco Beltrami. Yeah, Marco Beltrami. It was cheap on Amazon, so I went ahead and sprung for it. Uh, this is one I received just yesterday. It is the best of Bond, James Bond. It features all the themes from all the James Bond movies and uh, Features the latest from Billie Eilish, which is No Time to Die. Speaking of No Time to Die, this one I also received this past week. This is the score by Hans Zimmer. And again, features Billie Eilish doing the title song, No Time to Die. And the next three are from the latest Planet of the Apes trilogy. I really enjoyed those movies quite a bit. Uh, first off, we have Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This came with, uh, came with uh, a Blu-ray as well as, uh, I think, a CD soundtrack. Next up, we have Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. With music by Michael Giacchino. Probably pronouncing that wrong. And then last, we've got War for the Planet of the Apes. Again, music by Michael Giacchino. And the last two are horror soundtracks. First off, we have The Haunting of Hill House, with music by the Newton Bros. Newton Bros. Newton Brothers. I think this came on just regular black wax. Actually, no, it's red. And the 
second album. Also on red. So here's custom label. Title label. Um, the last one I received is also from the Newton Brothers, and it is for the Haunting of Blind Manor. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure what color variant it is. Uh, this one was also cheap on uh, Waxworks website. So I picked up this one, Dark Man and Jacob's Ladder, uh, all for like 60 bucks. So I'm going to open this so we can take a look at it. Here's the cover. Back. Little girl. And they're calling this Lady of the Lake color. So this looks like it's uh, kind of a dark green with some browns. Um, I recently ordered the Quiet Place 2 um, soundtrack and there were two options. There was the forest green and then an eco color. I ordered the eco color not knowing what it was, so I reached out to Mondo and they told me that it was basically all the colors that were left from a pressing just kind of all blended together. So I'm thinking that that green color we just looked at might be what the echo looks like or eco. But here's the second one, kind of a more of a brown with uh, some green marbling. And here is the custom label. So that's all of my vinyl. Um, I am expecting soon the Halloween Kills uh, soundtrack. I did order two of them. <laughs> uh, one I ordered directly from Sacred Bones, and then another one I think I ordered from Newberry Comics, maybe. But uh, looking forward to seeing those and hearing them. Uh, I will be going to see. Halloween Kills in theaters probably early Friday like in matinee uh, but I do have Peacock so I'll be watching it probably multiple times this weekend uh, so that's it for the movies and the vinyl uh, I did get a book uh, in the mail yesterday uh, it's called Blood on Black Wax it's from Rue Morgue uh, it's by Aaron Lupton and Jeff uh, Spirglis uh, I did recently just upload a video of me thumbing through all the pages in this, so if you're interest, interested in seeing all the different vinyl that's been released uh, for horror soundtracks, it's got, uh, I went through every page, so if you want to just follow along, it's, it's great. I've enjoyed this book so far, just reading up on the different releases. So uh, yeah, Blood on Black Wax. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are doing well, and uh, until next time, take care. Thanks. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye.